The mercury is rising and so are the number of sun seekers in the southwest. A sunny March weekend has resulted in record profits for some businesses. Could it be a taste of more to come? Janet Field is already stocking up. She hasn't seen it like this for five years. It's been brilliant. The best weekend we've known since we opened the shop. It's been wonderful. We are actually ordering double the ice cream that we normally sell because it's just been so good. There was a long wait for fish and chips today and the hotels are getting booked up too. People certainly planning for Easter but also looking uh, further ahead. Uh, generally you first get a bit of good weather and people will suddenly think, I haven't booked my holiday, what can I do? It's risen dramatically. Over the last three weeks we've seen our phone call inquiries increase by 300%. Um, uh, certainly people through the door making inquiries for hotel accommodation and attractions. It's just shot up. This month can be a hard slog for the tourism industry, but places like Puxton Park in Somerset are enjoying some early, unexpected success. Is this the best march you've seen so far? Yes, it is, and it's definitely helping because we don't have any children's holidays in March, so March is always a hard month for um, trying to make a profit, so this, this good weather is definitely helping. In 2010, it was all about April for the sunshine economy in our region. According to estimated figures, there were more than one million overnight trips to the southwest last March. That was 10% down on the year before, but it was a different story in April 2011, with numbers reaching well over 2 million. That was an increase of 24% from 2010. But a big factor in that rise was the fact Easter fell late last year. March is unlikely to match it, but could we have another record Easter ahead of us? The donkeys are already at work. There'll be plenty of others ready to share their load and capitalise on the good weather.